Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Nick Cassano, everybody. Give it up for him. Have you guys bear with me for just one second while I set this up. That's the Occupy Wall Street brand. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah, I'm sad too. Yeah, I'm sad. I just recently learned out that I was the uh, second choice for every woman who already has her first. When it comes to, uh, if all eligible men were sodas, I'd be Sam's choice. If there were award shows, I'd be teen choice. And if my mom could do all over again, she'd be pro-choice. So that's... Yeah, I'm bad with women, I have to admit. The only thing I seem to screw on a consistent basis is my chances. <laughs> really, forget oral sex. I even remember what oral sex feels like. Last time someone went down on me, it was my self-esteem. <laughs> Honestly, I think Jesus is gonna come again before I do. That's... <laughs> bad right there. I'm not sure if you could tell by that joke, but I'm single. Um, some friends try to recommend eHarmony to me, but I can't get down with eHarmony because eventually you're gonna have to tell someone else how you met. And it's not gonna be a normal story, you know? It's not gonna be one of those, oh, we met at a party. We saw each other across a crowded room. She came over and we danced. Like white people, apparently. We talked all night, well, most of the night. And we've been together ever since. How did you guys meet? Well, I entered all my pertinent information into a computer database and uh, they matched me up with someone equally pathetic and lonely to the point that uh, now we're so codependent that uh, we've, we've been together ever since. So. But I have to admit, I'm improving. I am. I'm improving with women. I learned something the other day that was just huge for me. Women hate whiny dudes. Any women in the house agree with that? Any women? Do you hate whiny dudes? It's true, and there are so many. There are so many whiny dudes out there. They just go around, she doesn't want to fuck me. Why does she want to fuck me? I just, I just, I'm not an asshole like the guy, like her ex-boyfriend. I'm trying to be the nice guy. I try to be the friend on the shoulder. She doesn't even... It's because you're acting like a child. That's what's going on. You're a fucking five-year-old, all right? The last, thing a woman, the last thing a woman wants is a hundred-pound baby inside her, okay? <laughs> it worked better in my head. So, but yeah, we're a sexual nation. You realize that? Did you realize that we're so sexual as a nation? You can tell just in the way we phrase sex how we've progressed as a nation. For example, back in the 50s and 40s and everything like that, we were industrialized. We were an industrial nation. We were a productive nation. And at that time, we phrased sex as making love. We made love. It, we produced love. It was like flowing from our borders like GDP. It was beautiful. <laughs> then we became a fruitful nation, a progressive nation, all right? And we phrased, we were having sex. That's what we were all doing. We were having sex. Sex was everywhere. You just go around, yeah, here, have some sex. Just, here's, here, hey man, have some sex. Hey, you, you want some sex? Here, have some. Don't give it back to me. I'm not gay. What are you doing? Jeez. Okay. And finally now we're an indebted nation, all right? We're an indebted nation. We're an untrustworthy nation. Now we're all just getting fucked. <laughs> Every single one of us is getting fucked. I heard a horrible story the other night. Another night, I heard about 60 some odd people that were trapped in a room hearing some guy talk about how bad he is with women. Paid $10 cover to do so. <laughs> talk about getting fucked. Thank you guys so much. I'm Nick Cassano. Yeah. Do what? That's what it was. <laughs>